My colleague Andre previously spoke about the listing compliance team asking companies for more information about their disclosures. This additional information is important and that is why in many instances, we ask the company to publicly disclose their replies. From the information disclosed, we will take action if we think the company, its directors or executives may have breached our rules. We have an internal committee that will meet to decide on the appropriate next steps. Where the matters are serious enough, they may be referred to the Independent Listings Disciplinary Committee. This is part of the due process phase for enforcement actions. It is important to emphasize that we must adhere to the procedure laid out for this due process and rules of natural justice must be adhered to. So what sort of sanctions can be taken against errant companies? SGX Redco on its own can issue a private warning. The Independent Listings Disciplinary Committee and Listings Appeals Committee can meet out penalties such as a public reprimand, a fine of not more than $250,000 per contravention, subject to a maximum of $1 million, or requiring the company to be delisted. Sanctions can also be imposed on the directors, executive officers, and issue managers of the listed company. Now, before I close off, I thought it might be useful to share three more points on the work my colleagues and I do. The first is that investigation takes time. There must be a due process and we must let justice take its course. Second, we are often asked to provide updates on our investigations. By law, we cannot. This is so that the process of investigation is not jeopardized and also to avoid prejudging the case. Finally, there are many different forms of sanctions depending on how severe the rule breach is. Some of the sanctions are public, but some are also private. Just because a sanction is not made public does not mean that no sanction has been applied.